Anthropomorphism, the attribution of human qualities or characteristics to animals or inanimate objects. A strange way of seeing the world around us, don't you think? But think again. As humans, we try to understand life and nature relative to humanity. We try to talk to dogs, derive malice of the gods from natural disasters, and decipher faces from the clouds. We interpret the world as it appears to us. The quintessence of postmodernism, anthropomorphism derives meaning from the primitive instincts of animals as they relate to individual humans, comparing the relative natures and then making conjectures about both humans and animals based on their shared characteristics. Throughout the novel Life of Pi, animals take on very human-like characteristics when put in domesticated situations, while Pi takes on the savage characteristics of animals when forced into their natural environment. Outside of the modernized, unnatural, political society of the current world, Pi lowers himself to the mindset of an animal while recognizing similar traits between him and those with which he shares the boat. It became an unmistakable indication to me of how low I had sunk the day I noticed, with a pinching of the heart, that I ate like an animal. That this noisy, frantic, unchewing, wolfing down of mine was exactly the way Richard Parker ate. Pi begins to realize that he has morphed from a human into an animal, giving in to his primitive instincts. Pi, after being taken out of his usual environment of India, finds himself in the wild with other animals, causing him to take on animalistic qualities of self-preservation. Pi, who previously saw animals with human-like characteristics, takes on the qualities of those same animals creating a paradox where morals shift with environment. Orange Juice's head came into sight. She had given birth at the zoo to two young ones, strapping males five and eight years old that were her and our pride. It was unmistakably these she had on her mind as she searched over the water, unintentionally mimicking what I've been doing these last 36 hours. Orange Juice symbolizes Pi's mother, taking on the domestic, human-like, and emotional qualities of the mother. Orange Juice mimics the filial love present in the majority of family relationships. She feels loyalty and compassion for her sons, missing them dearly just as Pi misses his family, who both fail to make it aboard the lifeboat. Pi notes this similarity as he brings to the reader's notice the aspect of anthropomorphism. I love you! The words burst out pure and unfettered, indefinite. The feeling flooded my chest. Truly I do. I love you, Richard Parker. If I didn't have you now, I don't know what I would do. I don't think I would make it. No, I wouldn't. I would die of hopelessness. Richard Parker's sheer presence acts as a means to keep Pi motivated by giving him a sense of comfort in the foreign environment of the vast Pacific Ocean. Richard Parker ultimately saves Pi's life by giving him an incentive to survive. Pi now feels so comfortable with Richard Parker to even admit his love for him, almost as though he were his brother. This was the terrible cost of Richard Parker. He gave me a life, my own, but at the expense of taking another. He ripped the flesh off the man's frame and cracked his bones. The smell of blood filled my nose. Something in me died then that has never come back to life. In this scenario, Pi truly is Richard Parker. He is the one who sunk so low as to kill the other man. In this scene especially, Pi relies on the animal to display the cruelty of what happened on the boat. Pi takes on the savageness of a tiger so greatly that that is the image he uses to portray his actions. It is the reverse of anthropomorphism. Humthropomorphism, maybe? But he regrets his actions so greatly he cannot even truly admit to his deed and blames it on the fictional Richard Parker. Even though animals are different species than humans, we are more similar to them than some may think. Even more, these traits become apparent when the only objects available to view are animals and humans themselves. The novel Life of Pi by Jan Martel embodies the characteristics of anthropomorphism throughout every chapter of the book.